Welcome back to uh, X Rebirth, everybody. My name, as always, is Maxwell, and today we're not going to piss off the Plutarch Way Station. In fact, we're just going to get the shit out of here before it blows the crap out of us. We're going to quickly save as well, just in case something goes horrendously wrong. And uh, hopefully, there, there we go. We are away. So where we were, where we left off last time, Plutarch had sent a capital ship against us, and that had scattered most of our fighters and mining vessels. So we are now scouring around, trying to find survivors and trying to find the ragtag remnants of uh, where our fleet ended up. Hopefully, we can just find them lying around here and there, and hopefully, our mining ship got out okay. So if you remember, we had. Uh, we had our mining ship here doing some mining ops as well. It looks like we're going to have to spend quite a bit of time in the highways. But hopefully everybody managed to get out okay. Although I know for a fact that not everybody got out okay. Because I watched with my own eyes as a few of them got blown up. Uh, because I was a little bit too far out to draw the fire quick enough. And uh, quite a few of them got toasted pretty much instantly. We were able to take out the uh, the capital ship's engines, and I think one, a couple of its shield generators and its turrets, but weren't really able to make enough of an impact. So hopefully we haven't just dragged these Canterans into the our war with Plutarch. Although for us, I think it would be quite good if we managed to do that, because then we'd have a, a decent-sized ally go along with the Heart of Albion to fight against the Plutarchs, but it wouldn't be very good for the Canterans. Because, uh, let's face it, their civilization is in a little bit of a sorry state at the moment, especially looking at the, uh, the, the area that they inhabit here. It's a little bit worse for wear. So really, they're just in the rebuilding phase. They need some strong leadership and some supplies and some drone stations apparently and that's a point in between episodes I think I'm gonna take on some boring side missions just to make a little bit extra cash uh, because we need about 19 million credits to build that space station and I'm fairly sure we have nowhere near 19 million credits in fact if we just uh, if we just have a look I have 165,000 so nowhere near the uh, 19 million required. But hopefully we should make a decent wedge of cash from this uh, mining operation. I still need to go and see if I can sell the uh, the prison ship. If indeed we still own the prison ship. If we, uh, if we still own the prison ship then I definitely want to just sell that thing because I don't really think I want it. Uh, although it probably would have been quite handy to have that on our side in that last battle when the capital ship turned up. Um, we probably could have just pounded the Plutarch capital ship into submission if we had our own capital ship. Missiles as well, I keep forgetting to fire missiles. Where do you think you're going? Right, I think we're just flying all the way back to the um, the station that's like a few feet away from the sun. Ah yes, what is that? That is our construction vessel. Which probably hasn't started building yet, but just because... And is that the rehas? It is, and we haven't given them any money. So they, <laughs> they aren't constructing yet. Right, let us dock and see what it is that we need to do. At least, uh, at least once we've docked here, we can uh, we can apply some five finger discount to a lot of their goods. Maybe even sell some of our entertainment consoles. Oh shit! Overshot that a little bit. The throttle's a little bit unresponsive. Like uh, the whole time there, I was hitting reverse and it just wasn't happening. Alright, let's uh, let's see what we can steal while we are here. What are you, a drone dealer? We don't have anything to sell to you, I know that for a fact. 
because we only have two drones, one assassin drone and one Trojan drone. And no drone dealers don't buy entertainment consoles. You're not going to find a drone dealer sat there with a, with a massive surplus of Xboxes or Playstations. Anything? Yep. That one's cleverly hidden. The box being orange and orange light. It just looks like any old box. No vents? None here, anyway. Who are you? You are a mechanic. I don't think... Hello, pilot. What can we offer you? I don't think I have anything... No, I don't have anything. Godspeed. Well, at least these people are nice. Oh, black marketeer. God, you look shifty. Guess what I have for you. Show me your wares, please. So long, buddy. I have nothing to sell to you, and I don't wish to buy any drugs today, so... It's all good. It's a little bit of a awkwardly placed bench. Couldn't just push it to the left a little bit? Nope, I can't. Oh well. Uh, you know there's a bench half covering the doorway in here, right? Uh, what are you? Equipment Hello, vendor. What can we offer you? Show me See what you wares, sell. Please. Ooh. Sure. Now we can sell some of this god forsaken panelling to you. It's not really worth much. But at least we can get rid of it. And um, what's this stuff? Small arms. And there we go. Thank you. It's very kind of you to say. Well, we've gotten rid of the uh, mountains of panelling we had, at least. Probably should have... Oops. Who are you? Uh, merchant. No. Mechanic, even. I don't want to talk to you. I want to open... There we go. Standing awkwardly amongst all the lockers. Now you're standing awkwardly inside the lockers. Well done. So I probably should have looted everything before selling stuff, but to be honest, I'm not really bothered. What are you? You're an arms dealer. Pilot, come and get some bargains for me. Do I have anything to sell to you? Wares, please. Sure, let's do it. No, you just sell. You all have a nice day. You just sell crap. Not crap. Missiles. What are you? Drone dealer. No. Right here we go. This fella. Turning so promptly. This is a difficult time, and we have some urgent questions. We'll help in any way we can. Did you find any more survivors? None at all. Did your people know that Plutarch would send scouts into our space? We knew Plutarch was exploring debris. We only have limited information on their patrols. Could they have been tracking your mining ship? They seem to know exactly where to go. Maybe one of your people wanted us to be attacked and be dragged into your conflict. Foreman is the one in charge, and he sure as hell didn't want you attacked. I'm sure they're looking into Are you sure? That sounds like something Borman would do, to be honest. We're looking to you for sanctuary. You may well get an ally in the war. After this incident, any Plutarch ships in our space will be warned and then attacked if they do not withdraw. How do you hope to enforce that? You have nothing close to that firepower. I was hoping our new friends, part of Albion, would help defend our space, especially now with their refugees in our space. That sounds fair enough. But you want us to militarize your space? For the short term, it would be mutually beneficial until we get our infrastructure to full strength. When our ship construction capabilities are fully restored, we will be able to defend ourselves against anything Plutarch can throw at us. Maybe we can send some forces, but we need most of them in Albion keeping up pressure. We will make do. Please extend our offer to Captain Borman and give him my comms frequency should he ever need to contact me directly. Thank you, oh well, that worked out for the best. I guess. I reckon that still was all Bowman's idea. Encyclopedia entry, system, defreeze, history and politics. Update. After the Plutarch Mining Corporation aggressively pushed through the defreeze system and attacked a mining operation, the Republic of Kantera has mobilized its forces and turned against the aggressor. Their borders are now closed to all but a select few Albion allies. 
In your face, Plutarch. Right. Let's see if we have... Oh, God, I'm stuck in a fish tank. Anything else to sell? Ship technician. Are you someone I want to speak to? Is there anything I can offer you? Show me your wares, please. Agreed. Uh, ah, cool. I can sell some mining equipment to this fella. And some engine components. Uh, life support systems. They're reasonably expensive. And um, weapon interface chips. Okay, thank you. I'll just bled you dry, and now I'm off to find some other poor sap to sell my cr sell my crap to. Oh God, a lot of FPS lag just there for no good reason. Right, that's everything you want. Can I offer you? Show me your wares, please. Oh. I have no food to sell. Arms no dealer. What can I offer you? Show me your wares, please. Oh yeah, that's Snoop. my missiles, isn't it? Um I don't really want to sell you. those. Who are you? Another arms dealer. Uh another arms dealer. God, what is this? The annual arms dealer convention. Another arms dealer, Jesus it is. And a drone dealer. The annual bloody arms dealer convention in that bunk. Ship technician. Uh, I'm sure I've just sold to a ship technician, but I might have picked up some more crap out of there. Wares, no, I didn't. Y'all have, nice have a nice day too. Don't know why she would say that. There's just me here. A bit weird. Oh, there you are. What are you? What do you sell? You're an arms dealer, of course you are. Whoops. Of course you're an arms dealer. Who's next? What are you? A drone dealer? You are Hello, a mining Pat. supplier. Show me your wares, please. Nope, I have That's nothing you. to sell. Right, let's go find the Oh, one more. You are a drone dealer. Right, we'll go and find that mechanic again and see if we have enough money to upgrade our either our weapons or our shields. What are you, a technician? You are an arms dealer. Jesus. You're a mechanic. Do you really? Right, I want to buy weapons. weapons please. We can customize any of these weapons to fit in your ship. Inertial hammer. That sounds nice, but then so does a particle repeater. Let's have a look. Okay, that sounds like the uh, super good machine gun. What's this? That's ah, less damage per second, though. This looks like it does uh, more. 1200 range, what's the range on this? 1200 as well. Actually, incidentally, what's the range of my other weapons? 1600 and the plasma cannon? 2000? Hmm. Didn't seem like it was. Right, let's get ourselves a particle repeater. Uh, I want to buy one. Okay. And now, is that just done? Or do I need to actually go and have it fitted by someone? Oh no, let's uh, see how much your shields are. Oops. Show me your engines, please. I don't want to look at engines, I want to look at shields. shields please. Accepted. Uh, right, no. I'm not going to be able to afford any shields. 
So that's 700,000. A dashing shield is 200 and something thousand. Well, I've got a new gun, at least. I have a new gun. So we can go shred someone's face, hopefully. Don't know why I'm doing this, because I can just do that and that, and we leave. Return to ship. Done. Better tell Borman as soon as we can. Maybe we should get face to face. Huh. Yeah, sure. Something wrong? Just a stupid thought. These guys are Terran. I hope that we don't turn on each other once this war is over. They're just as Terran as the Argon were centuries ago when separated from Earth. Who knows? Maybe we'll be one people in a decade or so. A new federation. <sighs> it's been a while since someone reminded me of the federation. Those must have been the good old days. Something to think about. Thanks, Ren. I'll let Borman know that we plan on heading back. He can tell us if it's safe. Oh, look at that gun! Wow. That's pretty beautiful, mind. Right. Let's, uh, where are we going? I think we are going to head back through to Albion now, which would be interesting. Oh, I'm liking this new weapon, mind. Right, we could do with a little bit of cash. Uh, so we can upgrade our shields and stuff. I think between episodes I'll do some research and find out if it is possible to uh, sell that ship and if it is possible who to sell it to. Because, uh, to be honest, we could probably more do with the cash right now than having a battleship or a cruiser or whatever the hell it is. Whatever the hell you want to call it. Here, getting stuck right up the back of these ships. Flying to unmet promise. Ah, this is gonna be the long one. Right, let's have a little bit more of a look into the mission. Joint operation, fly to the jump gate. Well, that's a bit easy. Uh, what's the story? Take part in the first joint operation between the heart of Aldean and the Canterans. Okay, so we're going to do that. I think we're going to go to Borman. Ah, I think we probably can't communicate with him while we're in the Canteran system. So we probably have to fly back to Albion in order to communicate the plan with Borman. Although, that fella did say give Borman his personal frequency so that he can contact him any time. So I'm guessing there probably is a way to communicate between systems. Maybe our communication equipment isn't powerful enough uh, considering we're just on a small a small craft compared to these uh, larger freighters and larger cruisers. Or frigates, or whatever the hell you want to call them. So yeah, maybe that's just the thing. Maybe uh, we just don't have the signal power to be able to reach between systems. So we have to actually do the legwork and uh, get ourselves back. Oh, I can fire while in the space lanes. My God, that does heat up quick. Look at that. But it's going to do a crap ton of damage. Whoops. Bleak Pebble. It's quite a distance away, that one. That was 30-something kilometres to uh, to the Bleak Pebble system gate. In fact, I don't even think I'm going to make it on one, one lot of jump. Oh, oh, almost. But not quite. Let us fall in to the jump gate. Any traffic? No, doesn't look like there's anybody about. Oh, there's someone there. That's a little better. Not following as closely behind, so we don't get the horrible, overwhelming engine noise 
and our ship kind of half being inside their ship, which is just a little bit weird. So I think we're going to have to save up for an inertial hammer, but I think before we buy the inertial hammer, uh, we should probably invest in some new shields, considering we just invested in a new weapon system. He's going to one up all the fantasies when they're coming flying. Yeah. Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Make room for other people there. Make room for the others. I've nearly got Ektar. 